Hi, welcome to year four classroom setup. I am in a brand new building this year. I'm still teaching first grade, but I am departmentalized. So I'm only teaching math and then I'll be teaching science and social studies alternating. But today is the first day of classroom setup. So I'll be bringing everyone, oh, I just locked my car. I'll be bringing everyone along with me for the setup. Um, this is a very nice empty car because last week we came in for some curriculum training and so all the things that I had been accruing in my apartment over the summer I dropped off in my room every morning before the training started so I haven't done anything in the room yet other than just drop a bunch of shit off in it so we will go start setting it up now I'm so excited just finished chatting with my teammate or my co-teacher next door my room has a lot more furniture in it than it did the other day. So I'm just gonna take a quick lap around and show you what's going on. And then I'm gonna dive right in. So starting here at my door, I have a bulletin board here. Um, not magnetic, like a push pin kind of one. I have a very large closet in here. My voice might echo now. These are some extra picture books that my co-teacher found. He left them in here for me to look through. Okay, um, I did not have this mailbox unit, so I'm very excited that there was an extra one. I asked if they found one, if I could have it. Here are some of the meeting materials we've been given in the last week, things that I have brought in. This is all of our science curriculum. Um, the cabinet door, they're gonna reattach for me. All of that's empty. I guess I got another bookshelf. This sounds weird, but this is going to be a calm down corner. This is something a lot of teachers in my building do is they have the cabinet off or the cabinet door off and they make that a calm down corner most of this is my furniture here like the two black pieces are but they brought wobble chairs all the natural wood furniture is my school's this organizer is mine the rainbow carts are mine then I have these giant tables I have a laptop cart some more seating options my old high top table this will go to the teacher across the hall. They just didn't move it yet. This is pretty cool. I'm guessing it's, you know, a laptop cart that I can have here. Keep my coffee. This is my madness back here. I brought all of this over on the last day of school. So there's like 20 or so boxes here of things. If you don't know to do this, always make one box your get everything back together box. That way it's easy to find and you can start cutting the boxes open start hanging things up the crates are mine the lamp is not but i think i get to keep it big whiteboard here i did forget to mention there is a whiteboard back there and i have big open windows lots of sunshine i have some built-in shelves here they're not super deep they're about i don't know the length of my fingers maybe a little deeper then very luckily our school does that school supplies um, are paid for by the parents just like in bulk and they drop them off here so it's equity for all the kids and that they all have the same books the same markers and so on and so forth so I have to go through all of that I have another whiteboard here don't ask me why it was assembled upside down this is you know the easel where I should put the pens and then all of this beautiful storage it's all empty I just hung a hanger up in here because I'll always forget to pack one if I don't do it this week but basically all the cabinets look, I don't know what that is, fanny pack, but <laughs> they're all just big open cabinets like this. And then coming back to the kind of where we started, cause there's where I started my door and then sink. Um, I covered my school name on there, but yeah, a quick glance around. I have a lot of work to do, so I'm going to quickly see if my Mac, I left it here so the IT guy could work on it and see if he could get it to connect to my projector. If that's the case, I'm going to dive right in, throw some music on or SVU, and just start moving everything at hopefully the speed of light. So, wish me luck.
So since I last stopped filming, I found out that I had two laptop or an iPad and a laptop cart in my room. Those were out in the hallway. Don't mind my heavy breathing. I have moved um, every table now. And then I moved my colleague's furniture over here. So I put all curriculum materials that I know about on this counter. I mean, to be fair, Basically, the pile of books to the Amplify Science boxes were already there. I just moved over a couple of things for math. I brought furniture for my last room, not knowing this room would come with five bookcases, a mailbox holder, all these tables, like teacher things. Like, I didn't know I was even going to get a chair. So I have that wooden one. So I'm going to be putting a lot of stuff in these cabinets, I guess. And then I have, I'm doing a lot of spinning, sorry. I have all these, I cannot point in the backwards direction with a mirror. I have all those Sterilite drawers. I don't know where I'm going to put those if anywhere. So I've got a lot of shuffling to do, but I just want to do a quick update that everything is still a mess. And wait, you have to see these chairs. They're so cute. Look at the little stubs. There's three of them here, look how little. So that's really reassuring for me about how small these children are and to remember that they're little babies and not near second graders like what I just left them off as in May. So little update. Oh, I now have an idea sitting here. Again, sorry for the spinning. This one here, I think I'm just gonna put it behind me underneath the whiteboard. I think that would be a good spot for it. So like any materials needed, the kids could lean on it. It seems pretty sturdy when I moved it. And then they could use it to interact with our uh, whiteboard because it's not like a smart board that they can touch it and move things around. It's going to be a whiteboard that gets projected on. So I'm gonna go move that now. Bye. A lot of like random little decor things just to get some of the bigger boxes emptied, especially since they were lighter boxes. So behind me, there's some decor and then kind of just in this general vicinity. Um, I did begin to fill up the cabinets a little and by a little I truly mean that little but one of the boxes was everything in my desk area so I mean this is a work in progress by all means but all of my PD books are here all the picture books that I don't like to share are there and then some things that will be used for whole group like the lucky ducks the partner cards the doorbell pointers those will eventually make their way over there once I figure out what I actually want that to look like. But it's so messy with all of these just random piles right now on all my tables. I did get SVU to work. I uh, have enough technology knowledge to figure out how to get the display working. So I've been watching SVU for a little bit. I began to put some things in the storage closet, which is hopefully behind me that you can see but I don't really love how it's organized because I have like two game boards a basket of small group things a basket of telephones for small group my fourth grade library and then all of our math curriculum because I did empty this counter here behind me so I could start plopping things there too and there's just a whole bunch of plopping going on behind me so as much as I want to actually like get the furniture in place, I think it's not gonna happen until I empty all these boxes. So I'm just making my way through the boxes right now. I did get a lot of cleaning supplies away though. That was my first task. Like the first thing I took apart were tissues, wipes, like storage sandwich bags kind of thing. Um, so I do need to just empty a few more boxes. I might even take apart the math curriculum only because I'm gonna flip this around in here, underneath the pocket charts, it's a little messy. Every time I find a storage container, I've been throwing it in here. But these little lock top lids are perfect for all of the cards that come with our Bridges Math curriculum. Like we 
in first grade probably get like over 20 decks of cards dice fit in those um smaller manipulatives like coins fit in there so I think after I eat my lunch I'm going to just dive into breaking the math apart and then I'll actually have floor room in the storage closet so I'm moving my way in there now I'm going to turn this around again sorry if this is like really close on my face but that's math that's all math that's math the bins go with the math and then like that's my fourth grade library that's my fourth grade library and then all these extra books I need to speak to our literacy STL and get those out and then I don't even know what to do with this just yet but I don't know it's a work in progress so here's a quick look around here I have my lap desks down here I'm gonna put some more milk crates down here once I empty them um that's a miscellaneous bin right now these things aren't mine the little boxes it's file folders I have all of my book bins here right now and then well library book bins here these are individual book bins toothy task cards are here and I've already printed more then I had an extra set of math curriculum and all of those books that were up here, I hid them back there because I'll never use them. They're from an old curriculum, but I can't get rid of them. Coming over here, I'm hoping this will open. Yeah, I put the construction paper in here, crayons and markers, and that's not including any of the school supplies that I got from my school. I started a little bit of organizing the math. So I got all the cards together, some of the game boards, things like that. And then pocket charts and privacy dividers are in here. Like I said, I did start working on math. So some of it's organized right now just for the sake of being in bins and not in that giant box. I did want to tackle science today, but it just wasn't in the cards. Once I actually have a layout of the room, these cube organizers are going to move. I feel like because they're see-through, it would be kind of cool to like have them just be some kind of divider within the room, or I could even put them here in front of the windows. Obviously, I didn't touch much of the flexible seating. This bookcase is still in pieces. Um, I did move some furniture over here. I have a lot of decor, so I kind of just hook, hung some of it up. This, this, and I believe that box are the three books full of I mean, the three boxes full of books that I'm actually going to use in the library. And then these three boxes tomorrow will go in there. Um, also, like, because there's furniture here, that means I got rid of most of my boxes. I put two pillows down here. I don't really love it, but I just wanted to see, like, how it would look. I have this thing here. This is also a file cabinet. Um, this probably won't stay here now that, like, I didn't know it was a filing cabinet when I brought it over. These things have not been sorted yet, but it's basically like work for each month and such. This is my old curriculum, but I plan on switching it over to be for the math curriculum. I have to get more, or I might actually just use the ones that are in the closet, but student data. Don't even get me started on that mess. More decor is hanging up. That's not going to stay there either, but I just wanted to see it. I fixed... The 10 draw cards, one of them is missing a screw, but they were super loose for whatever reason, so I was able to screw them in tighter. I hung up my flip calendar. So all of this is school supplies. The only thing that I touched were the sanitizer bottles. I did get this set up a little bit. This is a lot of my desk supplies and then PD books and then picture books that I don't share. This is still messy, but it's coming together. Like, I mean, 
that's candy. <laughs> um, some decor of my own, like signs, bulletin border, stuff like that, prize box, trays, and holiday things. I did put my Sterilite drawers on top. I haven't touched any of the bottom cabinets yet. I think I might leave those to be accessible to the kids. But I have all, again, school supplies that are not from here that I had already from Donors Choose and just over the years here. Still haven't put anything here, so it's very possible that the new supplies will go there. And then this is a work in progress, but it's my math cabinet. All the manuals an obscene amount of homework books, like a handful of regular workday books, and then workbooks that I probably won't use because they go with the calendar that I'm not required to do every day. And then the last teacher is a saint and she put all of the games for each unit in big baggies and they just fell on me, but they'll be fine when I'm done. And that's about it. I put cleaning supplies away, but you don't want to see cleaning supplies. But, and I don't know where to put the mirror right now, so right there is honestly fine. But here's what we've got.